Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation, with a very cool, unique silver piece. Silver Wheels of the Sun. Let's explore! One of the most cool and unique features of this coin is the fact that you are looking at the coin in its correct orientation. This coin is not on its side or it's not turned, rotated 90 degrees. This is the obverse of the coin in this 5,000 Nuevos Pesos, uh, which commemorates the 20th anniversary of the Central Bank of Uruguay. Very, very cool indeed. Although one might think that this might be the proper way that the coin should show itself, or maybe it would be this way. Really, you can look at it in every different angle that you'd like to, but in reality, the look of this coin is actually this way. I may have had it upside down, but nonetheless, its beauty shines no matter how you turn it. And this is a quite cool and quite unique piece, especially since it was issued so long ago, as it is to commemorate that 20th anniversary of the Central Bank of Uruguay. Makes you wonder how much they have gold they have, but very interesting indeed. This side uh, contains a the national arms and a sun face. In fact, it may be somewhat reminiscent of the coat of arms for New Mexico uh, in, in a very kind of unique and kind of a reminiscent at least of that case. But uh, you can see there it says Uruguay in the year of issue with uh, looks like part of the seven actually missing. So this could actually be an error. Now, I'm not sure if this is considered a proof strike. They did make proof versions of this coin, uh, but they also made uncirculated versions as well. And uh, but nonetheless, the my guess is is probably this is the uncir uncirculated version uh, because of, of what we see here the variety of the AG 900. There are three different varieties, and I believe that the uncirculated version only had the big AG, and uh, that is what is noted here. Um, and there is a, the other variety is a very small AG900. And then there was another one with a medium, which ha had the large A and a, and a smaller G, sort of a subscript G. And then the 900 was the same size as that smaller script G there. But uh, this is a quite a stunning piece. But as you can see there, the 7 looks to be truncated and very, very small. So this is definitely an error because... Um, of how precise this thing was struck. I love the frosting and the contrast and the fact that really it, um, it basically has a very subtle uh, hint of a rim on this thing. It doesn't really have a, a, a pronounced rim, which I kind of like that. It's kind of a neat kind of a, of a hint, a sloping pattern up to the rim. And you can see the edge, even though it's a coin, the edge is smooth there. Very cool, unique. I love the symmetry of this, the pattern in the sun, and uh, the national arms there. Uh, quite interesting indeed. So it is 900 fine silver, as we know. And it is, the denomination is uh, 5,000 nuevos pesos. So I guess that's a new pesos there. Uh, made of 90% silver and has a diameter of 37 millimeters um, and a weight of uh, only 25 grams. So it's not even a full ounce there. Uh, 2.5 millimeter thickness. And uh, But now let's take a look at the other side, which I think is equally as stunning, if not even more so. This is the Banco Central del Uruguay, 1967 to 1987. And it contains a triangular sort of a wheel design. But what I like about this coin, which I think it finds unique, and one of the things that I like about a good coin design, even though the, they don't necessarily have to have this element, but I love symmetry 
in art and in coin design, and I also like great composition. Even though this is obviously a very ultra modern kind of minimalistic style, it it is reminiscent of the of the obverse. This is the reverse, but it does contain some of that same element. There is a consistency between the obverse and reverse, and I think that is profoundly important in coin design. Uh, something that's sorely lacking in U.S. coinage, uh, and really has been for quite some time. Augustus St. Gaudens understood it, um, as did some of the earlier designers. I think that's part of what makes some of those coins so beautiful. And even though this is far removed from uh, the classic coin design of the Americas, um, this coin uh, contains some of those elements in, in this very modern, uh, simplistic approach here. Uh, that shows the idea of the wheels of the banking system or the central bank there uh, really kind of in motion here um, and wonderfully done very very nice and I love how the reeded edge kind of just uh, it flows the symmetry and the in the idea of this minimalism flows with that with that edge there um, very sharp but very precise uh, just like the wheel that is part of what the central bank is what it's commemorating precision and uh, inaccuracy um, and maybe in accounting as bankers usually do but nonetheless this is considered a coin alignment um, so that when you flip it from top to bottom there you have the other side and you can see here uh, this is unique because the text is on the sides uh, making you think that and perhaps it should be turned this way but in reality it is this way but um, as is the case with most coined design or really good uh, uh, kind of symmetrical stuff you can kind of move it in any way shape or form in fact there are certain designs that have that element to them that can, they can be at any position or any angle I kind of like that fact um, and it's kind of a neat little uh, portion of this thing. Now, the the Nuevo 5000 there, we can see there appears to be a symbol there below the... I don't know what that symbol. It could be the, the, uh, the initials of the engraver or the artist who created it, perhaps. I don't know. Or a signature of some sort. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a quite intriguing piece. And so I thought I'd share it with the community. A really cool, unique piece of silver, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And these videos typically don't get very many views, but I think something about great coin design and unique silver, uh, I think is is fascinating. You don't have to think about, you know, the the intimacies of the market or anything like that. You just enjoy great coin design, and that's what it's about. Um, and that's why I like to show some of these unique pieces. I've had this in my collection for years. Uh, brought it out of the deep bowels of storage to show you guys. And I'm going to continue to do that, regardless if they get views or not. Because I like to have a little bit of variety on the channel and do that from time to time. So you'll see more of these videos. And I do hope you share it uh, with other members of the community. Um, and uh, among different social media platforms just to kind of take a look and see what coins uh, may look like that you may not have ever even known existed before. Uh, certainly there has been some unique silver pieces that I've shown that I've been astonished and surprised that others have seen. And I, there's a whole playlist on this channel of, of uh, the unique silver items uh, that uh, I've showcased. So I hope you will check that out and look at some of the past videos as well. But again, this is just quite stunning. I love the look and the finish of this, that uh, proof frosty uh, surface there. Uh, very little of the of the mirror background image there on both sides. Um, and I think that is another thing that makes this stand out. And that's why I bought it so many years ago. Um, it, it does not have much numismatic value, by the way. And to me, I think that's what's so cool. You can find pieces like this for not a whole lot of money at coin shows or maybe even eBay or what have you. And so that's the beauty of collecting, and that's what this is about. It's about collecting. It just so happens that this collector piece, though it has not much numismatic value, it is 900 fine silver. It's protected by the intrinsic value contained therein. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.